Ndi di biya nwere obena ri nne ka eduri mara ebe nka ya eje eje ifa adiba go njori nne mo di bi otoro ogwo ofa ona aba anya akporo ndu na nki ogwo cha ya onwe na onwe isi na ima nje na bible aka ege ebu aru ya na akwa di kwokwa isi na ona elezi ele ne godu ke edezi ndi ka ndi di biya juru ba ya ba eze di biya oburo ogwo ndi ki si na na eje obu bible Oh God, restore to me the joy of my salvation, Father. Oh, 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 oh,
what tomorrow holds for them. In view of this, some visit prophets to give them revelations as regards their future. Some visit Avali. Some people go to the extent of invoking spirits in order to know what the future holds for them. That's why the Bible says, Take no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take care of itself. Some people hang well. Why some people hang brains at sheep? That is life for you. If only some ladies know tomorrow, they wouldn't have engaged themselves in abortion. Because the children that would have brightened their future had been aborted. Now they are living their life in regret. If only we know that life is full of ups and downs. Somebody who is rich today will end up being poor. And a poor person today, turn rich. We would have learned to live well today for better tomorrow. If those people that perished in Bellevue and Sosoliso Airline knew their tomorrow, they wouldn't have embarked on the journey. But this is my joy. Jesus knows my tomorrow. The beginning and the end. That means my tomorrow is secure. That reminds me of a lady who was planning for a wedding. She went abroad for her shopping. It was when she gave her consciousness in the hospital that she was told she had an accident on the eve of her wedding. But because Jesus Christ is my tomorrow, He will accomplish everything concerning me. If you are a policeman, police well. A governor, govern well. A lecturer, lecture well. Because you don't know what tomorrow holds for you. know tomorrow that reminds me of a man who single-handedly trained all his seven children fortunately for him the children grew up successfully some traveled abroad some were working in reputable companies when it was time for this old man to eat the fruit of his labor behold he died without eating the fruit of his labor I pray that will never be our portion in Jesus name I want to tell you there's no champion forever in any way you can help that your brother who is in need now, please do. Because he may turn out to be your helper tomorrow. I have seen a case where a landlord had financial problem with his bank. And the house was later bought by his former tenant, who gave him a flat to occupy. That is life for you. So if you are a landlord, respect your tenant. And if you are a tenant, give your landlord the respect he deserves. Because nobody knows tomorrow. Some children have become thorns in their parents' flesh. They are disobedient and wayward. They turn their parents' effort to know by indulging in different criminal acts at school. If only they know tomorrow, they wouldn't have ventured into it in the first place. Young man, if only you know tomorrow, you stop that atrocity. Young lady, if you to know tomorrow, you keep yourself chaste. And won't be jumping from one man to another. It's not better to suffer today and have a better tomorrow. 
than to enjoy today and suffer tomorrow. I pray that will never be your portion in Jesus' name. Why do you look so worried? Is it because you have not gotten a child? How have you lost your job? Is that the end of life? No! If there is life, there is hope. Have you forgotten the promise of God in the Bible? Which says all things work together for good to them that love Christ. I want to tell you today that what you are passing through today is for a reason. I see God turning your problem to miracle in Jesus' name. As for me, I can never be afraid of tomorrow. Because of my tomorrow is hidden in Christ. Therefore, my future is secured in Jesus' name.
from the colonial masters began to show their power. The northern leaders showed they are strong. The western leaders showed they have powers. Where the eastern leaders showed the world, they can never be neglected. Until a terrible war broke in in 1967. But thank God, we are still here. We will never run away. God is with us. Nigeria is our country. We will never run away. We call the first republic, the second republic, and even the third republic we experience civil rule and military rule 
we did not run. Some leaders came in like eagles and flew away with our money and resources. We did not run away. Some came in in the light of a lion and rule us like lion. We did not run. Some people rule us like animals, even though we don't know where they are taking us to. But here we are today. We are still alive by His grace because we know we are very much around those that will take us to our promised land. Go to our hospitals and see how people are dying because they have no money to put their bills. Joblessness has been the order of the day. I pray that God will give us good leaders and not leaders that will hold us hostage in poverty and hardship. God will definitely deliver us from them. We shall not run away. This is a country owned by everybody. In which some group of people have turned into their own personal property, while others are enslaved. May God help us. Most of these people travel to witness the swearing of Professor John Atai of Ghana as a new elected president from opposition party. Many even travel to America to see how Obama from Kenya became a president of the most powerful nation in the world. A country where justice is done. What surprises me is this. They will still come back home and still go their old ways. What I know is that we cannot run away. Our God shall surely fight and rescue us the same way he delivered the children of Israel from Pharaoh. Amen.
Me. 